we're going to talk about how to create a purchase order for a bundled product. So in this case we have searched a particular product in our forecast page and it's telling us that based on our current average velocity we need to place an order, a purchase order, for 180 units of the combined total bundle product. So let's go ahead and click this green button and I'll walk you through how the purchase order system works. So stock will automatically generate a purchase order workflow and then it'll actually create the purchase order. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is name the PO. So this bundled product for every single one of the bundles that we sell, there is one of these and two of these sub products. So the system's telling us to order 180 of these and 360 of these. The only issue is that we already have a lot of this inventory in stock. So we don't actually need to order those. We only need to order these. And then when it gets to the warehouse or the, the prep center, um, we want to instruct the prep center to bundle them per, you know, one of these per every two of these. So in other words, we don't need to place an order for this inventory. So right now, the way the system's set up is we have to manually track that separately and we have to remove that portion of the purchase order. In the future, we, you know, we have updates happening all the time and one of our updates that's coming down the, uh, the pipeline is to automate that, to track the inventory of each uh, sub product and then to automate the bundling of that and deducting it here. That part you have to do manually. So since we already have 219 in inventory, we don't actually need 360 of these. We need 141, which would equal 360. Obviously, if your supplier has a minimum order quantity in MOQ, you would just place that amount and store the rest in your inventory. So in this case, we don't have an MOQ. Just to keep the math simple, we're going to order 141. So that totals our 360 of this product. The other part of the product, we already have that in inventory as we discussed. Now one note about bundles, each sub product in a bundle is saved as its own product in so stock. So you want to make sure that when you're saving those products, each of them have the same lead time so it matches together. Okay, good. So we've got that part done. Of course, we could add additional stuff here, which we don't need to. Let's just go to the next page. I'm going to save and preview. So now that purchase order is saved, and now we're going to the work order section. So once this inventory arrives at our warehouse or our prep center, we need to give instructions to the prep center to take existing inventory, bundle it with this new inventory we purchased, etc. So it says, well, we know that there's 141 of these that we just ordered that's coming in. This is the total number of bundled products here. And then down here, you can see it's one of these for every two of these, and it gives the total numbers here. So these are the instructions to the warehouse. So this is just confirming that we're sending all 180 of those bundled products to Amazon. And here is our transfer time from the warehouse into Amazon. And this is the purchase order, again, for just that one part. And this is the work order, the instructions to the warehouse or the prep center. So that's how the system works currently. And I hope you found that helpful.